I'm gonna kind of work myself to death because apparently I'm already on my way there and I would like to accelerate it. Well, hello there. How are you doing, guys? It's been a while. Well, it's not like I'm expecting any answer. It's mostly for engagement, not gonna lie. I don't really care how you are doing. Nevertheless, I will tell you how I am doing. And it's not bad doing. I would almost say it's pretty good most of the time. I moved to Sweden. Now I live here. And you have probably noticed that I haven't done any tutorials in the last few months. And yeah, that's not gonna change. To keep it completely straight with you guys, I'm not really too interested in making tutorials right now and I don't really have time for it either, so it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not saying that I won't ever do any more tutorials, there are some tutorials that I would still like to make and I'm probably more interested in doing a bit of a high level tutorial, so let's say guide to optimization for mobile devices and this stuff, like talking really in depth in these particular ways of development or just just areas of development, let's say. Yeah, but it's probably not interesting for most of you, even though optimization for mobile devices probably is. And I plan to do that, I just don't know when, because that's something I need to do a lot of research in, uh, to. Yeah, and just kind of put it all together so I can share everything that's rotating and doing in here. Yeah. Anyway, you are probably not here to hear me bubble around, so let's get to what is gonna happen with this channel. Because even though I'm not going to make tutorial videos anytime soon, I would still like to make quite a bit of content. I would like to move more into actually developing games and sharing my journey with you than necessarily making tutorials on how to make games. I made plenty of those, so if you want, you can watch those. Yeah. Go, go, go. So the big question in the room, at least in this one, is what's gonna happen now? And the thing is that I'm already working on games, on actually more games at the same time. I'm uh, working on games by myself that I can release on Uplap and Oculus Quest, which are mostly VR games, that is. And I also work professionally on some games. I can't really share those games that I'm working on right now, but I can share with you a game that I released recently. So we will leave that for the end of the video. Recently means like yesterday, literally. So yeah, <laughs> it's very new. Haven't even done any marketing on this stuff. So yeah, it's very new. So now I'm really gonna stop bubble and tell you what is gonna happen with this channel. So because I have already games that I'm working on, I also want to have a sort of a side project. Let's call it side project. And basically my super great and wonderful idea is that I'm gonna kind of work myself to death because apparently I'm already on my way there and I would like to accelerate it. So simple way how to do that is to add another game that I'm working on and that's what I would like to do here on this channel. And because it's way too easy to make games regularly, I decided to give myself a deadline every time because I want to do, let's say, every month a new game and share the whole journey with you. Sadly, I can't dedicate too much to it, but I will hopefully be able to find every day at least like two hours of focus work when I'm actually working on this little side project or the particular side project in that month. Because I would of course like to stick with it for a few months and hopefully years. So the idea with that is also that I kind of need kind of a, let's, I personally call it creative puking, where you are basically just like putting your creativity out there and let's see what sticks because most of it is most of it is not gonna stick it's just gonna fall right there into hell and hopefully if I'm gonna be lucky some of those ideas will stick and be something and because I want to share the whole journey with you through these devlogs and videos and I'm eventually thinking about streaming probably not right now definitely not this month but I would like to stream parts of the development so you can like give me your feedback or just say what you want to be in the game and I will tell you no. So now we will have to, we can do all that you know, offline so you can write comments and say stuff what you think should be there and I'm gonna tell you no. And if I eventually start live streaming I can say no to you in a real time. Which sounds pretty cool, like, I would still like to lean a bit more on an educational side with these devlogs, so I will go a bit more in depth with uh, tech sides, what I'm doing, how stuff are working, etc, etc. I would also always like to include some form of Q&A on the end of the video, so if you have que uh, any questions already, put them down there, I'm gonna answer them in the next video, and on the end of this video I'm gonna answer some questions I already got. I have been thinking about distribution of these games, I may even like put them up on Steam, we will see. It's not that hard to get your game on Steam and 
I will at, I will be at least able to kind of map that process and then share it with you. So once you will be releasing your game, you will have at least some idea what you can expect. So that can be quite helpful to you, I hope. All right, and now let's start this first devlog by talking about the game I'm gonna be working on this month. Yeah. So as you can see, I have set up a Asana. Asana? How is it pronounced? Asana or Asana? Well, let me know in comments. Well, I'm sure that you will do that. And because I'm obviously working with a limited time, I set up here three different priority boards, which basically must have are things that really needs to be there to make the game actually a game that I'm aiming for. Some cool to have stuff would be just cool to have, as what you would expect from that. And probably not, but it would be really cool. It's like, that's basically no, but I still want to write it down in case that I would decide to go crazy and want to do something like that. So let me talk about the game I'm working on. You could have already seen sneak peeks on my social media so if you want to see more sneak peeks you should definitely follow that i'm gonna put links somewhere here so let's describe it a bit it's supposed to be a fast-paced survival shooter with a magic where you can adjust your own spells yeah because simple spells are way too easy to make so idea is basically a simple survival or more of an exploration game if it will work well which works better like a roguelike title where you have only one life and during that life you always level up and adjust your spells and i want to add that as much customization to your magic fire magic specifically i want to have just fire magic in this case and i want to add that as much customization as as, pa as possible so so you will be able to adjust if you want to shoot just so fireball or if that fireball is supposed to explode once it hits something or you can shoot three fireballs or five weaker ones etc etc i haven't thought about it that much but that's the basic idea what i would like to do what i absolutely have to do is a smooth player control because if it's a fast paced game you need to have a player controller that feels very smooth and is very intuitive to control so that's what i'm working on mostly right now and i will show you in a bit uh, what i have so far then of course the magic system i'm talking about then of course an ai system because it would be pretty boring to have a cool magic system without having anything to shoot it at and kill it with it so yeah that's also pretty high on the priority list. Then of course, progressive difficulty system, basically the longer you play or the higher level you are, the more dangerous enemies are. And of course, I would like to have that a specific look to the game because I will be obviously using assets from asset store and this stuff that is no way I'm gonna model anything probably. And it's been a while since I've been modeling to be honest. So yeah, no. <laughs> So I want to set up custom post-process base, the shader that will basically give a game a specific look. So it won't look as an asset grab and as flip asset. How, how do you call those kind of games? Asset flips. Yeah, I think it's asset flips. And from the cool to have stuff, it would be really cool to have uh, procedurally generated random levels, basically dungeons that are generated as you play and this stuff. And of course, online leaderboard, because you need to have players communicate somehow with each other. This is basically f offline form of communication, even though it's online. And of course, it would be really cool if it was working in an online call, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I can already tell you that it's not gonna happen. And just a quick info, because I will obviously have a limited time, I'm gonna rely a lot on Unreal Marketplace. And I built this project on top of a dynamic combat system, as uh, specifically its magic part and i will leave you link in the description in case you wanted to use that as well for some of your projects so as you can see you have here a character that you are looking from third person you can move around blah 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 and you can roll and jump and this stuff well i'm gonna get rid of jumping i don't think it really fits the game so that's not gonna be there and i also will completely work all the hot stuff and or everything else i don't like it i'm even thinking about getting rid of stamina not sure about that because i will already be limiting a lot of stuff with mana anyway what already works is basically some spawning of fireballs and i have also reworked the teleportation here because i want player to be able to quickly teleport from place to place because teleportation is really cool so by left clicking you can spawn the current ability that we have equipped equipped and if you right click it will uh, spawn you this thingy, slow down time, and you can teleport around. It will be a bit limited because I don't want players to spam, spam it, but yeah, I also want players to be able to use it quite a bit because, hey, it's really cool, and that's what this game is about. Just feel really, really cool. And I have also made a version of this project with a first-person view. I'm not sure if I'm that much fan of it, to be honest. It looks really cool to just spam stuff and aim, but for example, teleportation and 
anything else. Doesn't look that cool. You can fix a lot of this stuff, but yeah, it's probably not gonna be the case. But I would like to ask you, actually, what do you think fits it better? First person view or third person view? Now you have kind of seen both. I'm gonna put them on the screen next to each other. So you can decide what you think fits it better. I'm much more fan of a third person right now because it's just cooler, but I would also like to know your opinion and then tell you, and then tell you no, obviously. Alright, the game is called Air Racer. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description in case you wanna buy it. I wouldn't mind it, not gonna lie. And it's basically just a racing game that you control just by tilting your head on left or right, because I wanted to create something that you can play basically anywhere, because apparently it seems that people are traveling with their Oculus Quest, so it would be cool to have something that you can play without having to move around too much, so that's why I created that, one of the reasons I'm thinking about uh, Basically, it's a hyper-casual game on uh, in VR, on Oculus Quest. So at least, uh, test, at least uh, try to do something like that. Not sure if I should have unleashed hyper-casual games on VR industry yet, but hey, here we are. And I have also noticed that most VR games right now are very slow. So I also wanted to create something that you can play really fast and just do it with your reflexes. Yeah. Anyway, here it is. It was released yesterday, so... That's all, it doesn't even have any reviews, so yeah. <laughs> gonna start marketing it soon and do all the funny stuff around that. I'm gonna share that journey with you and that's where I will end this video. I hope it wasn't too confusing once, I felt like I was going from one place to another way too fast. Anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions for next videos, please leave them, leave them in the description. No, I, you are not gonna leave stuff in the description, leave them in comments. And also you can share with me how you are doing, I'm not gonna make fun of you too much as I did in the beginning. Just a little bit. Anyway, that's about it. See you around and Sir Fancy out.